imagine both your hands are broken there is a heavy chain on your neck and two heavy chains on your ankles and half meter long and they put the tent there it was my tent sent by my ex-boyfriend and uh, it was cold it was January end of December when they captured me but to the chain to that place they put me later after they kept me locked up in a house and tied to the iron iron pillar and so they tell you that you will be there forever all your life so just imagine how will you how will you feel uh, they kind of left me there it was not that they would be with me or Bonjon would be with me from morning till night no they left me there probably that was part of the torture I don't think many people could manage to be just three months tied on a chain not to have any anything what basic biological needs you need and um, I also thought I would die they told me they will kill me but I was thinking uh, even if they don't kill me actively I will die because it's just not normal to survive on chain I will soon die from all the things my body needed so this is a part of a secret I promise not to disclose I would disclose it if I see any effort on the part of the police and government to capture these criminals but I didn't see any effort yet so they are working free and their thinking is is, uh, is uh, absurd and uh, Bomjon is revengeful so I don't I am afraid to disclose they can find me anywhere they had two times tried to kill me by poisoning in Nepal I will speak about it later so um, yes the one of the main way how Bomjon tortures his victims is not even by tying us with chains, not even by beating, not even by raping, terrorizing. But there is something connected to food mm. and our, our sustenance. But uh, it's not straightforward torturing, uh, you would, <laughs> even if I tell you, you would not understand, to, you, you have to experience it, it's just so absurd that you are, uh, you could get crazy from that, because <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not, it's worse than a demon, it's, it's a demon on the tenth, how can he torture you? Apart from the fact that he had broken your two hands, apart from the fact that Darsh, he sends Darshan to sexually abuse you and uh, torture you by beating and Dorje, Tomak, Tomek Tarnowski, there are many, many other different ways of torture that Bomjon is doing. And that's why uh, his followers are very happily announcing and boasting which is also very demonic very negative like Mani Lama and the others oh some guy uh, Bom John beat it some guy but tortured some guy but punished some guy in Hal Korea and he became crazy and he doesn't know if he should walk or stay or live or die and they are even boasting about this in an article for Setopati. Yes, I can, I know what he speaks about. Monilami doesn't know. At one point, he will probably learn as well because Bonjon likes to uh, 
kidnap the same people who are involved in torturing others. It's, it's the wave chain reaction of his tortures, like the now disappeared Mulam Lama, Suresh Alemagar, uh, was included <coughs> in many tortures of other people. So we know very well who are the next. But uh, I know what these other victims go through very well, and that's why I was trying so much to open the eyes of people and the public uh, in videos and articles to, to go and save them. But people are heartless. Nepali police and Nepali government, they look only for benefits and money, and they get a lot of money from Bomjon because the foreigners give him a lot of donations especially the Taiwanese and Hong Kongi followers, very rich followers, all those donations, 90%, are going for bribing police and politicians. It had been proved to me from insiders. So also during the time when I was there, you experience this terrible torture and you try not to get crazy. So uh, I tried to find some activity to um, keep my mind fresh. I was thinking, I was thinking, they are going to kill me or I die from uh, various bodily needs. But I don't want to die in a in a mindset of very um, how to say like in a foggy mindset or in hellish, uh, terrible depression or trauma or fear or terror. I want to leave my body with a clear mind in a prayer to God. This was my intention and keep my mind fresh and working. So, uh, Westerners can understand uh, how long can you manage without being online? How long can you manage without making a phone call or without speaking to someone? It's extremely difficult if you live a normal social life. And I was uh, even less social than others. I was uh, keeping my own practice a lot in Hal Korea and I was not so entertaining myself. But anyway, I was still... Uh, I like people and I, uh, I'm very intellectually active. So I was writing articles, reading articles, reading books. Uh, spiritual teachings, everything was... I was uh, very active and suddenly you are tied with a chain and the only communication you can have with the birds and the monkeys. Those two demons, uh, Darshan and uh, Dorje, coming to only to beat you and mock you and uh, humiliate you, you bitch, you, you will die tomorrow and, and Dar Darshan did some kind of like conversation but then he ha 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 then he broke out in laughter and these were lies or he was kind of speaking with me and then I believe maybe it's true for example he tried many times he tried to make me hope that in two days you will be released and then he didn't arrive in two days but in five days and he was laughing. <laughs> you really seriously thought that we would release you? So, the psychological torture from Rambomjon, Dorje and Darshan was extreme. So after the few weeks you realize that you are in hell. Even at one point uh, Darshan came and told me, Marichi, you are in hell. This is hell. And he was laughing. So what what can you do? Can you get if you get crazy, then you lose everything. Um, there is a wrong translation, or um, because the Nepali media doesn't understand good English. The other thing, I never in my life, in terrible, difficult life situations, I never thought about suicide. I'm sorry, Avenues TV, but it was not true what you, how you translated. Now I understand because that time when I saw the Avenues TV 
documentary about my case, I didn't understand Nepalese so well. But they tried their best. It's just that they made a mistake. Uh, I never spoke about trying to make suicide, but I spoke about having been in such a terrible situation and to the next, the last days of the torture that I thought that I would just die from that terror and to that, not just bodily, but that mental suffering and social suffering. Because you hear all these people around you who used to be your friends and you hear their daily life. I was just five minutes from the settlements where slowly, slowly foreigners arrived for the Maitri Puja. Uh, I heard the voices of these people. I know, I knew, recognized them, Andrea Gudosu and others. And sometimes they were walking in the outskirts of the area where I was uh, held. So it's not that some of them even knew I am there. But that time I didn't know they knew. Uh, that would break me down even more. I learned it uh, later, in later years, of course. But you are there on this chain. So what to do uh, three months on the chain? So you try to um, make your mind working. And so I was thinking, uh, in the beginning I was thinking and thinking this was my main activity but there, isn't, there are no more materials to think because every day you see the same grass in front of your tent sometimes you see the ants sometimes the monkey family is coming above you and ah, 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 makes like voices like this that's it and you, you hear different animal voices animal birds but then what to think more cannot go on and on about thinking about your terrible situation. You would get <laughs> really crazy. So I thought, okay, what was the most difficult subject at school for me was mathematics. So I started, in the last um, weeks of my stay, my hand was, uh, it, it is, you see, it is bangled. I mean, it bangled in Nepali, crooked in English. So it was very weak, but I could hold <coughs> little pieces of wood. And because I was under trees, so wood pieces had been falling down. So these little uh, branch pieces I used, there was sand, I used like to write on the, on the sand. So I used to make uh, mathematical functions and uh, these mathematical functions, mm, I try to remember the, all the mathematical functions and uh, wrote down two times three, how much, two times four, how much. So I was doing this every day. I prescribed myself a few hours of mental practice because even if I get uh, tortured to death, anything, I want to have a fresh mind. I don't want to lose my ability to logical thinking and memory and all this. The other thing I tried to keep normal and survive was uh, to keep myself clean. Because Rambon John didn't allow me to wash myself three months. And I was a menstruating woman, and not just that, but uh, Darshan was raping me to, in the last, uh, sexually abusing me uh, in the last uh, weeks during the Maitri Puja celebration. So he was running to the Maitri Puja, and then I saw in the later photos when I was rescued that he was. Uh, helping with the, to translate Bom John's uh, lecture to the foreigners about love, non-violence, ethical rules. And then he ran back in the breaks when the lamas were chanting and he went to masturbate on my head and to my mouth and on my tent and on my clothes. 
So this is Maitri Dharma of Pomjun. So yes, you are in hell, you know, in in hell, but you still keep. I believe that something like this were people doing during being abducted by ISIS or in Holocaust, in concentration camps.